Good hello friends and welcome back to the last episode of the Daisy Jones and the Six experience. Today I am loaded up on my computer. I'm still kind of working. It's almost 4 p.m. on Friday. I just came back from San Francisco last night. I had such a great time. My team was working GDC and it was great to just be up there for such a fun event. And now it's finally time to watch the last four episodes of Daisy Jones and I'm so freaking pumped. <laughs> So I feel like I have no idea what to expect. Amanda sent me a message yesterday saying that I would die over the finale and um, I am ready to experience death in its best form possible. <laughs> I have the dumbest smile. Simone's moment at the beginning of episode seven is so good. It's so cute. I always forget that the Daisy and Nikki storyline is a thing. I forgot it in the book. I'm forgetting it in the show. I literally just read the book like less than a month ago. And the fact that I've already forgotten that Nikki and this whole Grease plotline is a thing. Whatever. I'm so glad. I'm so ready for this part of it to be over. <laughs> Seeing Daisy and Billy on tour after all of their bickering, after all of their craziness is so freaking good. I'm doing my nails right now. So we're gonna do the nails and we're gonna watch at the same time. I love, I loved the ending of episode seven. Thing I will say is I love and hate that Daisy's argument to Billy was you made it seem like I needed you and yet Nikki is on tour with them as if she needs Nikki. Questionable. Questionable Miss Daisy Jones. Questionable indeed. Here we are. Back to normal. Back to chaos, if you will. Don't mind me and my UV light. I know what it looks like when you're in love with someone. Well, goddamn, Billy Dunn. How do my nails look? Nice, right? I'm so pretty. Got one thumb. Now we gotta do the rest. I love looking like an absolute nerd. Our team usually doesn't work like a full, full day on Fridays because it's Friday. Nobody wants to work until 6 p.m. on Friday. So long as you get all of your work done and you're prepped and ready for next week and you're available throughout the evening, you know, you'll, you, you'll be fine. So here I am, just my thumbnail done on this hand. My sister got me a coffee. Well, I bought it. She just went and picked it up. And I get a call from my manager saying, hey, can we really quickly do this together? Thank God I'm at my computer, right? <laughs> Finished my nails. So wait, wait, wait. And episode nine is 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 paining me. It is causing me pain. Because you can really see that like Billy cares about her a lot. There are so many people who care about Daisy for Daisy. And you can see that she's struggling with it. Granted she did this to herself, but she's also trying really hard to fix it now, but doesn't know how. It was the first time and I don't know how long that I didn't want to take anything. I didn't want alcohol i didn't want drugs i knew exactly what i wanted all right folks we are down to the very last episode amanda told me i should just have my camera on the entire time this episode is an hour long so i won't be doing that however i will be time lapsing this on my phone also my hair is giving like the kind of daisy jones messy vibe and i'm very here for it not even 30 seconds are you kidding me the paused clip that I am looking at should not be happening. This should not be happening. This is bad. This is bad. This is very, very bad. No, because this this is the chef's kiss of the Eddie Hate Club because I'm going to play it again. I love you, brother. Don't fuck yourself. You're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thirty-nine minutes. Oh my! Stop! Stop! I do. I've been doing this for twenty years. I'm great. So why you've done this? I do. Kids, no kids. I don't care. I love you. This part is fine. You say you feel the same. It will be fine. I'm so sorry. Hey, 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 this is who you are. Yes, it is. Let's see. I'm gonna have to fight it. I'm just trying to put some socks on. Like, beautiful performance, but like, Jesus Christ. Oh, baby. I remember that night. She was wearing the... No. The Hazelwood. Mm -hmm. I fell in love. Started a family. I got a wife and kids now who are my whole world. And I've got Karen to thank for that. 
probably still be pining after her if she hadn't been uh, brutally honest with me that night. I mean, I told him what he needed to hear. But I wasn't being honest with him. I would believe it's different. Everything that made Daisy burn made me burn. Everything I loved about the world, he loved about it. Everything I struggled with, she struggled with. We were two halves, and that way you almost never fight with anyone. But at the same time, we were a mess. Two natural disasters needed to heal. And I don't think we would have done that. I mean, I know we wouldn't have. At least not then. Jules, you know all this. You know, honey. When Aurora was released on CD, it was sold another uh, what? Two million? Three million? You know, it came on in the car the other day. Fun to think you did something, you know? Left your mark on the world. I don't know how your mother would have felt about that. I do. Man, fuck this show. I'm supposed to be going out. I'm supposed to be going out tonight. I. <laughs> Alright, friends. It has been a couple of days since I watched Daisy Jones and the Sixes finale. And I honestly was not expecting to sob as much as I was. I think seeing the story come to such an incredible conclusion, seeing the amount of just sheer talent and effort that the actors put into making these characters come to life was such a joy to experience. And I think something special that this show does that everybody knows is just the commitment to the music, the commitment to making Daisy Jones who she is, making Billy Dunn who he is, and quite frankly I did love the small changes in episode 8. Albeit they were small for some and absolutely giant for others in their own right. <laughs> It definitely added another layer of extreme to the show. It showed a level of growth within the characters or a lack thereof. And quite frankly, like, it just wrapped up their story really nicely while still leaving a great open ending to let fans, you know, decide what they want or don't want to happen. The last bit that you guys saw me absolutely crying over is, I think, so valuable to have included in the show's adaptation for a number of reasons. In the book, this character, she's extremely important to the overall story, but I feel like we finally got to close the chapter on her story really well. Regardless of if you have read the book, if you have solely watched this show, like you are not missing out in terms of the same love and care and charisma that is put into the show. Like, I truly felt like the characters were lifted off of the page and I do think that the story was enhanced. So overall, I am so pleased with this experience. I am so happy. This is one of my favorite adaptations literally of all time. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.